Okay, something is a bit wrong. Was they it? questioned me like several times so about how many friends exactly did you? Have? <laughs> some stuff was stolen, but some tropical diseases that you could catch here. Doctor. Doctors here, um, there uh, could be some well situations. It's <laughs> definitely not the biggest problem because. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not today. And I'm... some would definitely prefer Thailand. <laughs> it's gonna be an experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, my name is Olga. I'm staying in Vietnam for a year now. And today we are talking to a solo female traveler who is a doctor and is living in the name for a year as well. Is it safe for a woman to live in the name? And how much money do you need? How good are the local hospitals and doctors? Let's get started. I'm Olga. I'm a medical doctor originally from Russia. After that, I moved first to live in Norway. I was doing the, my master's degree. And for the last year, I'm um, moving around. I'm living here in Southeast Asia. And for the last half a year, I'm living here in Da Nang, in Vietnam, working as a digital nomad. Where else in Southeast Asia did you live? Well, uh, I used to live in Kuala Lumpur and uh, in Thailand, yeah. So in the end, you decided to stay longer in the name? I would say that I preferred the most. Why did you choose Vietnam out of all the Southeast Asia? What, what I really like uh, is the coastline, of course. <laughs> yeah, it is beautiful. And um, comparing to other countries in Asia, I would say that um, this cost and quality of life ratio when um, you could uh, have really good uh, life here and pay not much, I would say. So yes. it's quite affordable. Yeah. Even it compared to Thailand. Well, I would say people say different things when comparing these two countries. And some would definitely prefer Thailand. But as for me, yes, Vietnam is, uh, is better. Maybe for me, it's more about food. I, I really prefer Vietnamese to to Thai food, yes. Okay. What would you say, like in general, about like day-to-day -day living? What about Vietnam? Finding apartment, finding good places to eat, to have some fun or something like that. What's the daily life? Because you're single, right? Yes. I would say that um, because we have a really great uh, digital nomad community here, you could always find someone to ask for to ask about uh, completely anything so it's really very easy to find apartment or find uh, some nice meetup uh, to meet new people to make friends so how, how many friends exactly did you <laughs> tell us their names and text numbers <laughs> well yeah i would say that here lives mostly russians and koreans <laughs> well at, at least for a long time i would say mm. that here there are really a lot of uh, u.s and canadian citizens and europeans uh, but as i see it uh, they are living mostly for several weeks and mm. uh, just uh, because they are just traveling around asia quite some Europeans, especially the younger ones do mm -hmm. that. I think uh, the per permanent residents are more uh, older, like mm -hmm. 40s, 50s, people who want to retire here or have, yeah. uh, don't want to have the cold anymore. <laughs> it's understandable. <Yeah. laughs> what would you say? The, so th those were the advantages. Would you say there are any other really upsides to living here versus in Europe or in Russia? Well, uh, I would say is it for those who uh, used to live in Europe or America, for them, it could be quite uncomfortable, at least for first time, uh, sanitary issues. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, there is quite an amount of uh, trash on the streets. Not everywhere, but yeah, sometimes. <laughs> you could see a while uh, uh, everywhere. Quite of red. <laughs> I think yeah. rats should be our friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And cockroaches. You know, when I yeah. came here, I first understand that uh, cockroaches could be a huge threat, and it's definitely not the biggest problem because they also could fly, <laughs> and they fly really high. You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. At the same time, I would say that um, if you're ready to give uh, Vietnam some time, <laughs> you will definitely be used to this small issues and uh, after that you would really like to live here yeah 
What would you say, because you're a doctor, did you have any experience with uh, local medicine, doctors and hospitals? I uh, used to visit uh, several hospitals. I would say that the quality of medicine is uh, pretty nice. So if it's not some complicated health issues, uh, but uh, something simple or so of some tropical diseases that you could catch here, doctors here are quite professional. So qualified. it's not the, the issue that you should be scared of. Yeah, so sanitary say. conditions in hospitals were satisfactory. Yeah, yeah. But we have antibiotics sold everywhere. <laughs> so be yeah. not afraid of food poisoning. You will definitely get it, but yeah. <laughs> you will be treated. <laughs> so it's going to be an experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you want to come to the name and right away know which restaurants are safe to eat at, get my guide where I share my top five favorite restaurants, hotels and apartments, bike rentals, and even local and international hospitals. As a bonus, you are also getting my Google Maps list with almost 700 locations all over the name and Vietnam already pinned. And something that makes this guide truly valuable is that you're also getting an access to a private chat where I am answering all the follow-up questions. You will become a member of our community and it's a perfect chance to find a travel buddy if you are solo in Vietnam. So get this guide via the link in the description below and let me know if you have any questions. Like what would you say like the major pros and cons? So if you are thinking about just traveling around and spend here several days or weeks, uh, uh, it's like, you, you really should try it. It's a very nice city. There are so many things to have a look at, uh, so much food to try, and uh, there are so many meetups where you could uh, find some new people. So you definitely should try it. If speaking about uh, living for a long time, uh, again, you should just give a try <laughs> and see how it will go. At least for me, uh, I really like this place to live. But of course, I know several people who decided uh, to move to Thailand or Bali and they prefer these places more. So it's Even... all up to you. Yeah. So it's, it is a, in the same category as Bali and uh, Chiang Mai in yeah. Thailand. Yeah. Yeah. As I understand, it's uh, pretty much the same as Chiang Mai, but here we have a sea, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so well, as for, for me, it's for... much better. <laughs> yeah. Some people like yeah, the mountains. Yeah, definitely. Personal preference. The solo female traveler and expat, how do you feel here in the name? Do you feel safe? Do you have any major issues? Like how is your <laughs> communication with locals? Yeah, I would say that for solo female travel, it's uh, really safe to be here, at least in Danang. I've heard some uh, stories uh, about the capital city, that some stuff was stolen. But uh, at least here, I've never heard something like that. So, yes, uh, I don't think that uh, there is uh, uh, really uh, big issues with that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very safe uh, to just walk uh, along the streets in the evenings. So, and um, people here are really very friendly and uh, they, they are very helpful. I would say that most of uh, Vietnamese people don't speak English, but at the same time, you, uh, you could always uh, use Google Translate. So just a couple of days before, is that I came uh, to one of these Vietnamese cafe, and uh, I would like to buy the banh mi. That is like a traditional food here. It is uh, a sandwich, uh, like a bun uh, with vegetables and meat. And I asked them uh, that I don't want meat, just uh, like a vegetarian type. And they uh, they questioned me <laughs> like several times about that, that like really vegetarian, no meat. <laughs> and uh, and uh, they told me that it cost only half a dollar. And when I tried to give them more money, they were like, oh no, no, <laughs> it's just some vegetarian stuff, <laughs> no. <laughs> So they did not charge you... Even. Yeah, yeah, almost uh, they didn't charge me at all, just <laughs> gave away for free some vegetarian stuff. <laughs> well, it does show that people are mostly honest and don't try to rip you yeah. off all the time. I, I would say there could be some, well, situations. <laughs> <laughs> when you first arrived, um, when you're trying uh, some food here, because I remember during my first weeks here, I came to some... Uh, again, Vietnamese cafe, and I just uh, 
take um, took the menu and uh, just show them that I want this one. <laughs> just show them the picture. And uh, it was some soup with noodles and eggs and vegetables and meat. Well, it was really very good. So I was just uh, eating that, uh, just uh, googling something, reading. And then uh, when I tried food again, I was like, okay, something is a bit wrong. What is happening? And what happens is that I, what I understand afterwards is that I ordered balut. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it is like um, <laughs> it is uh, already developed uh, embryo of chicken, fermented one. Uh, so it already has uh, eyes yeah. <laughs> and all the bones <laughs> and skin. <laughs> and I was like, okay, <laughs> maybe not today. You know, maybe I need to spend here some more time before eating something like that. <laughs> Life did not prepare me for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You just point it on something and then, yeah. I mean, if you want a surprise, I guess you can do that. <laughs> yeah, but for those who are scared, that uh, here everywhere, you like, uh, they are selling uh, some uh, uh, cat or dogs prepared. It's not like that, at least here in Danang. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that you could hardly find it if you would like to. <laughs> I yes. never saw anything like that here. I heard stories about that it happens in the north. In, in the capital? Right. And, the, and in the north, but uh, never here. You, you could not just walk the street and see some roasted cat. <laughs> so what would you say, uh, again, as a single female traveler, what would be the budget to live here? Well, I would say that first, of course, it all depends on you and uh, what you want to do and in which places you want to live. So I would say that Vietnam is very affordable and uh, Da Nang is even more affordable than the capitals. So, for example, uh, for a thousand of dollars, uh, you could uh, have uh, your own apartment, uh, but I would say one bedroom apartment. Uh, eat uh, in uh, cafes, uh, have uh, some occasional uh, parties. Uh, so I would say that 1000 is uh, pretty enough. Maybe you will need even less. So the cost of uh, renting an apartment of one bedroom, I would say is uh, something about uh, 250 to 400 uh, dollars a month. Of course, you could find something cheaper if you are okay with studio, for example. And if you want to rent a house, uh, that would be, of course, uh, more pricey. And the uh, food here is uh, is very affordable too. Uh, I would say that it's completely the same price if you would uh, cook by yourself or eat in cafes. It well, depends on the cafe. The Western uh, ones are more... Maybe, but something uh, that is uh, Asian would be okay. How often do you eat in Vietnamese local places? Tell us now. <laughs> Not often, I would say like, twice a week, maybe. Okay. So the rest of the time you mostly eat out in mm -hmm, Western places. Mm -hmm. And so what is very comfortable is that here we have, uh, we could order food from cafes all around the city. So, yeah. And uh, the price is very cheap too. Speaking about nightlife, uh, we have so many bars and uh, cafes and uh, Again, uh, the price is very low. Yeah. What would you say about the transportation around here? I don't drive uh, my own bike because I'm a bit scared of uh, road accidents. And because here in Vietnam, uh, it's uh, a bit scary <laughs> to drive a bike. But at the same time, again, you could uh, just, how to say it, order a and bike order driver. Yeah. yeah. Again, it's very... Yeah. How much it was, is the cost of it? Yeah. It's like sometimes less than a dollar. Yeah. 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 So I'm not uh, driving my bike, but uh, I don't really need it because uh, I'm living in a place where just uh, in a center. So the sea coast is very, very close to me. And uh, all the cafes and light and nightlife is just all around me. Yeah, what you... I really like uh, yeah. here is that uh, you could uh, get everywhere on foot, or maybe if you could just uh, you could just drive a bike for five minutes, and that's yeah. all times that you need. Yeah. yeah. 
that, that's really convenient and all the heat ups and everything it's mm-hmm. usually like five minute walk from yeah. from where you stay so do you have any advice to your younger self before you started traveling i would say that um, i should be less scared to travel especially in uh, countries that we would name developing because uh, if you haven't been there yet you could imagine uh, uh, some issues that could arise if you will come there but in reality here in Asia you could uh, find just everything really good food (laughs) really good houses to rent you could find friends Uh, so I would say that uh, just not being afraid of uh, new experiences 